Hey there everybody, Susan here with Pumpkin Hill Stampers. I have a stamp and show and tell for you and today we're going to be using the new Free as a Bird stamp set which is in the new 2019 annual catalog. And as you can see we're going to be making this really pretty card here. Um, we're going to do some embossing, dry embossing. We've got some designer series paper to create our focal background. We're going to make this cute little bird and then we're going to use our new um, stitched nested labels to make our sentiment tag. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so for my card kit, I have a So Saffron card base. I have another piece of So Saffron that we're gonna build our background on. Okay, we're gonna use a piece of burlap. Okay, and actually the burlap comes wide. It's actually nine strands wide when we get it, but if you want a thinner burlap, you just take your paper snips and you just trim right in there and you can make yourself a thinner strip if you want to have a thinner ribbon. So let's start putting some of our pieces together here. First I'm going to start by pressing on my score line to make my card base. Okay, then I'm going to run that through the Big Shot and I'm using the Layered Leaves Dynamic Folder. And so what I do is after I've scored and folded that, I put this in my folder like this. I line up that score line with the end of the folder. I close the folder, then I run that through the Big Shot, and I run mine flat so I don't get that big crease on the on the score line. And then when it comes out, we've got our embossed image on the front of a car. So easy peasy, right? Didn't want to mess with the Big Shot today. Okay. Secondly, we've got this lovely designer series paper. This is actually the second side. Okay, so I've just cut this down. So we've got two panels. I've got the wide panel with the birds and then I've got this half inch panel on the side and we're just gonna marry those together on this piece of So Saffron. So I'm just gonna add some snail to my thin strip here and I'm gonna line this up on the edge of my card, just like that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the bird. Add some adhesive and then just marry those two pieces right up next to each other. Just butt them right up next to each other. Alright, now from there we're going to add our burlap. Okay, so here's our burlap. I'm just going to flip this over and I'm actually going to use an edge from my dimensional. I get that to peel up. As you can see I'm down a finger. I cut myself. And I'm trying to let it heal, but it's a little tricky being right-handed and losing that second finger for a while. Alright, so as you can see, I've pulled off just the edge of my dimensional. So I'm just going to take a piece of that and I'm going to line the burlap up on my seam here. I'm going to bring it around the back. And I'm just going to put the dimensional right over the top of that burlap to adhere it. Then I come down to the bottom, pull that around, and again I'm just going to use a part of that to tag that down. Now I can just go ahead and use the rest of that piece there, and I can use a regular one on the corner. And now I am ready to put this panel onto our card. So easy card building, right? Simple layers, simple stamping use all of our fun embellishments. Alright, so this is going to go right on the center of our card. Okay, so there's the base of the card. Now, we have to do some stamping, so I'm going to bring in, I'm going to use this bird today, okay? So I'm going to bring in my memento because I want to color with my blends. I'm going to ink up my bird, and I'm going to stamp him on a little piece of Whisper White there. And then while I've got the memento, I'm also going to do my sentiment. Now, where did this come from, right? This is new. Here is the die. It's called Stitched Nest Labels. Okay, so there's a whole series of those that can be nested inside each other. And we've got this one thin flat strip if you just want to make um, stripes. Uh, that stitched look on your card, you can use that. So I've already pre-die cut that, so that's all set. And now I'm just going to bring in my sentiment. And 
I'm going to stamp my sentiment to the side because I'm going to tuck it behind the bird. So I don't want it to be hidden. So I'm just going to stamp that off center. So that will be ready when we are ready to put them on our card. Okay, now for the bird. I used So Saffron, Old Olive, and Pool Party, and Crumb Cake, which are all colors in the paper. And I'm mimicking this little yellow and blue bird here. So what I start with is the So Saffron, and I just kind of give the whole bird a So Saffron bath. Okay, I'm just coloring him in. And I'm using the light because I'm going to overlap my colors, so I don't want them too dark. Always a little kind of muddy. So, so saffron. Then I'm using the pool party and I'm just mimicking right from the paper, okay, the back of his tail and up the back of his body and on the tip of his wing is where the blue is. Okay, and then his chest has some the green, the old olive. So, I'm just going to blend in the little bit in the wing and then I'm going to do his chest here. Okay, and then the crumb cake is just going to add a little bit of color to his eye and then his beak. Okay, and then I'm also going to do the ground here just so there's a little bit of color there as well. Okay, then I take my paper snips and I fussy cut him out. Now I've got one I've done, okay, right there. So now we're just going to add dimensionals to the back of all of these pieces. So I've got one on each end of my label, and then I'm going to put another one here on the bird. I'm just going to use another little strip of this to do down by his feet. Okay, so peel all those backers off. All right, so first I'm going to put my label on, and then I'm going to add my bird, and my bird's going to overlap kind of both the, the burlap and our little sentiment tag there, and there it is. Okay, easy peasy. So, and then of course, we never send out a hand stamp card without stamping our envelope, and I think I'm just going to put this cute little bird on the envelope too little surprise in the mail, right? So I'm just going to stamp him right there on the corner. And there we go. We've got our card. Now, on Monday I introduced um, the Card Candy Kits, went out with this Free as a Bird and the um, Designer Series Paper Bird Ballad. So those are the kits that went out to my VIP stampers. And I also put in there um, the case of the month. So here is the case design, card base with a stepped up center, some sentiment, and two kind of panels. And as you can see, this card fits that case as well. Okay, can you see the similarities between them? So if you want to play in the case challenge, you are more than welcome to play with anything in your collection. Snap a photo and email it to me and you'll be entered into my end of the month drawing for free shipping on your next order with me. So, there you go. A fun card for today, quick tutorial, and a fun challenge for you. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're enjoying your new catalogs. If you need to order, please see me online and place an order. I'd love to help you out. And until next time, happy stamping. Bye-bye.